Welcome back to the only destroyer focused channel in World of Warships Legends. Happy New Year to everybody. And since we are destroyer focused, I want to start the year with an unusual game. And this time I'm playing my very first game in the campaign ship Brisbane. And Brisbane is a legendary cruiser. Uh, so why do you play a cruiser, you might ask, being a destroyer main? Well, the ship comes with the campaign and uh, obviously I'm rarely playing cruiser. So I want you to enjoy my learning curve, which is pretty steep. Uh, and you will see that in this game because this is my very first game in the Brisbane. I had a look at the stats and saw the Brisbane has very decent torpedoes. Um, and it has 10 kilometer radar for 22 seconds and also it can have sonar or you can exchange it uh, versus the anti-air consumable but since in legendary there's rarely a destroyer uh, I go for the sonar of course uh, so we have a lot of detection and we go with Mr. Murray uh, which gives us three of each consumable and we fully spec him into torpedo build and concealment build so we maxed out concealment at 5.3 kilometer and uh, we're starting off the game and thinking what shall we do basically we should be hunting destroyers so we should be using islands to get in uh, but in this game uh, our destroyer um, catches the enemy destroyer early on so we have to unconceal ourselves uh, a little bit far out and getting some shots off and then quickly finding out that the opposite cruiser uh, has a better range and better hit on long range so i decide to back off and uh, get a hang of this ship and we need to find how we can use that but uh, you will see what happens in the end and how i uh, get better during i play this game but first off, we're doing some shots here on, on the Mogador and uh, probably I should have used HE. Uh, we're playing with the to long range torpedoes. Torpedoes, I think, are like 13 kilometer and pretty decent with 16K per torpedo. So you have uh, four sets of torpedo uh, times five torpedoes. That's 20 torpedoes, 10 on each side. So you will have to turn the ship if you want to uh, use all 10. But the turning radius and the turn is okay. It's not the fastest turner, but it is okay. Uh, I think my the biggest uh, asset here is the 9.3 kilometer concealment paired with a 10 kilometer radar. So as soon as you're uh, located and, and spotted, not located, but as soon as you're spotted, you just trigger the radar and you can uh, see the destroyer spotting you. So this uh, used to work with some uh, British uh, cruisers already in the past um, and it works very well here um, as well. And um, so this is why I'm specking into a, let's say, close range destroyer hunter, but also cruiser hunter, camping behind island hunter, and so on and so forth. So now you see uh, we're using the island, but still they they smacking us a little bit. We already used the heel, we used a, a radar, so we're trying a next approach just to find out that the enemy, I think it, it was a buffalo, uh, smacks us uh, with its AP and uh, we need to find a different approach here so that's why we're backing out um, and uh, we want to make use of the other side torpedoes and then the mogador shows up uh, pretty close range and of course we have to finish them off uh, this time we loaded uh, he so that's no big deal here and probably he wanted to ambush, ambush us behind an island and he didn't succeed and there you can see the, the buffalo, uh, 14 kilometer away. And our maximum range is 15 kilometers. So why would we open fire here uh, with these small caliber guns? Um, they, they work well, close range, mid range, but not long range. Um, maybe you can set up some fires, but even fire setting chance, I think is like 10, 12% or something. So it's not a, a cruiser fire spammer. I think you should be running the ship. Close range should make use of the of the really good torpedoes and uh, then you can can get quite some ships so now uh, the first four minutes have passed and you see we sunk uh, we, we stole the kill let's say it like this we didn't do much damage only eight bullets hit so basically we haven't participated in the game 
uh, we are one ship down already, so I would say it's time to, to enter the game and to start the game now that we found out how this ship works. Uh, we want to use that island as cover and we want to support the battleship, which, uh, lucky for us, is uh, closing in, so he's entering the cap. We triggered the radar a little bit early because I was confused by the by the wide range circle of the guns. Uh, I thought that's the the radar uh, the radar range, but that's uh, that's nonsense. Uh, I should have orientated myself at the blue concealment circle, and the radar is a little bit further. So I wanted to find the main. That's why I triggered the radar uh, a little bit early. No damage here. Uh, I got the information I wanted to see. He's still behind that island, so. Uh, we are preparing to go to the left while the battleship goes to the right. So that's the golden rule number one. We want the crossfire, cross toppings, and uh, the decision for the main uh, whom to aim. At the same time, we are avoiding the buffalo in the back. Uh, if you remember, remember correctly, he was uh, on the. If you look from the south of the map, he was left on that small island. So if we going left here, we are out of his um, gun range and uh, gun position so we're pretty safe here and uh, the b cap is blue and all the other ships are on d cap so there is not much danger much danger here and that's why it's time to push and make use of our torpedoes engage the main we are trig triggering some attention here doing a quick turn uh, not much damage here at the same time our battleship engaging so we're doing left right and uh, going to get the, the main, or at least trying to. And you can see we're already two ships down, so it's seven versus five. Uh, quite some work to do. And uh, yeah, you know my channel, I won't let you down. So wait for the best to come. So like I said, um, we are launching some torpedoes in case he's backing. And uh, our battleship coming from, from the front, so he may move forward, but then we put the single uh, torpedo is centered to his ship if he should run away and if he keeps backing okay then he is all ours and you can see the buffalo moved but he again he's in a bad position he's behind that island so he can't shoot at us and uh, that's time for us to get our torpedo salvo into the water and we have more torpedoes on the left side so we're going bow in now uh, but the guns anyway are pointing to our battleship which we expected because he was pushing from the front and most battleship players focus on battleships that's the the, the easy low iq of battleships uh, you can you can really calculate with that so we, what we're doing now is we're slowing down we want to get the cap we are being radared and at the same time we have radar so we wanted to know what buffalo is doing we already uh, released the torpedoes for the buffalo early on and now we are just sitting here making sure the buffalo doesn't catch us broadside that's why the radar is running we want to make sure that we hit the exact point when he comes around so we we can trigger the engine and move forward and it's a question of seconds and as soon as the cap is ours we move on and again the battleship is going to the left and we are taking this mountain or island from the right so again we have the crossfire we expect the buffalo to go southwards of the map and uh, that is when we want to stay slightly behind you see we got two hits uh, on the buffalo and a flood which he damage conned so we now want to peek around the corner and uh, attracts a little bit damage but we expect the battleship to kill the buffalo uh, because uh, the battle sh the buffalo should be coming broadside to us because they are keen for the kill like the cruisers usually are so they turn around and they forget there is a battleship uh, with huge caliber guns so that's why we uh, opening fire and we're showing a little bit uh, where we are we're getting out of our concealment range so we are visible buffalo is keen for the kill He's making the turn and this is the perfect way to expose himself to our battleship. We're going only three quarter of speed so we don't take too much damage because he was aiming ahead. He didn't, he didn't miss us totally and there goes the kill salvo. So now when we did our work on this side, we killed our three enemy ships at the spawn. It's time to go back uh, and analyze the map. So we have all the battleships and remaining destroyer in uh, C cap. And uh, it is pretty obviously that obvious the destroyer will go back capping D. So I'm trying to tell my battleship to go back to B. I'm setting course to B. 
But at the same time, we have a difficult situation. We have a battleship on the right, and we have an incoming battleship uh, north of B. So we will be in the crossfire position, and this is what we have to avoid. That's why we have to get rid of the battleship to the right. And you see our blue destroyer there uh, trying his best. And at the same time, we decide to support him with some long-range, uh, more or less random torps, but uh, hoping for some hits there. And we keep going into B because we have to keep B, we are leading in points, and if we can maintain that lead, uh, we're good to go. So we are loading uh, HE and we're getting off some shots, um, but first we get off some torpedoes, like I explained earlier. And it's hard to predict on 20 km or 15 where this Conqueror will go, but we get some torps off. And uh, now we're located so and spotted, and so we know the destroyer is there. We have no radar yet, so we can't do anything. But uh, we just keep moving a little bit, so we don't catch torps. And obviously the destroyer is aiming at our battleship in front of us. So there are the torps aimed for our battleship. We slow down to get a faster turn, in case you don't know, ships turn faster if you slow them down. Uh, that helped us to avoid these uh, torpedoes from the destroyer. And now we keep the island between the Marco Polo and us, but we want to ignite the, the Marco Polo, that's the idea. And uh, lucky for us, the, the blue destroyer on the right, he got the battleship there, so we're pretty safe. And since uh, B is no longer contested, we expect uh, the destroyer moving to A or sitting behind uh, with that Marco Polo, you don't know, but we pretty soon find out the destroyer moved to A, because A uh, is changing its colors. And that is when we make the left turn. Also we're trying and we see the torps here, so that's a clear sign that the destroyer moved to A, or is about to move. And we just don't want to show broadside to Marco Polo at the same time some HE, because we want to get him. And then we detect the Z44. Uh, he's trying his best, he's slowing down, but uh, within four and a half kilometer uh, sonar running, uh, there's nothing he can do, so uh, he's trying to avoid our shots, but uh, these fast reloading uh, 10 bullets per salvo uh, make short work. We turn in because we want to avoid the incoming torpedoes, which for sure are there. We're using the island uh, despite uh, the battleship having shot at us. Uh, but there are the torps, so we avoided them. Sonar still running, so they were easily to dodge, easy to dodge. And now we have to get back to B, capture B, so we don't lose the points. Um, at the same time, uh, C is contested, uh, so our destroyer is doing a good job over there, uh, charging uh, the, the second battleship, and we have to deal with the Marco Polo. We have an assisting battleship, but unfortunately this battleship is not able to uh, make use of enemy broadsides. Uh, as you can see, he's just making a turn, but uh, the Marco Polo is broadside to our uh, battleship, and uh, yeah, not, not much happening, uh, not much losing damage. So he is charging in. We dropped some torps from the left side, and uh, that probably made Marco Polo think. Uh, okay, all the torps are gone, and as you know, these things, unlike destroyers, have many, many, many torpedoes, and I like cruisers with a lot of torpedoes, because if you play them like this one, like an ambush cruiser, you just get another set of torpedoes in the water, and we're just making sure that Marco Polo is moving on, we wait for the indication marker to pass the island, we're closing in, so we can... Worst case, we can go around and torp him uh, or ram him, whatever. So we're releasing our single torps. And that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching my very first Brisbane game and my steep learning curve I had in this game. Uh, so we're killing this guy and uh, I can recommend this ship. Uh, get it if you didn't get the campaign. It's totally worth it. It's a, uh, a big destroyer, I would say, with 9.3 kilometer. And yeah, we are first of the team, MVP, slow start, uh, hard end. Uh, thank you out there and hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave your comments. See you. Bye bye.